Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for joining again. Um, this will hopefully be the very last chapter on this Horizon Processor Saga I've been going through for the last few days. Um, I can confirm though 100% that now the stuttering is fixed and I have tested it extensively uh, yesterday, the day before and I know it works and it took me a little bit and that's part of what I'm trying to go through with you guys today. Um, so please, for context, if you guys are just watching this video from uh, a YouTube algorithm uh, that you did a search on and you just fell into this video, please go back and watch the previous video so you can get a better context understanding on what I'm doing here. Because if you just see this video all of a sudden not understanding what happened previously, you might be a little confused. Um, so, all right. So. After I um, posted the video earlier saying that the video was lagging and I wasn't happy. Um, oh, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating the video to you now showing that it's, it's smooth, it's not lagging again, it's not stuttering. It's perfectly um, fine now. Um, but anyways, so um, yeah, I, I read online that I could do a BIOS reset. Um, and you know do optimal reset in the BIOS and that should fix the problem which I did do and once I did that um, I came back into my games and my games were working fine and so I thought the problem was fixed and so um, you know everything was good but then I went back into the BIOS again and there's a couple of options in there that I wanted to turn on because I thought that you know I have a Ryzen 9800 X3 processor and this option in the BIOS says it's X, X3D mode turn on or whatever you know it's supposed to be a feature at least the way I saw it would enhance my gaming uh, performance even further so I went ahead and turned I went ahead and turned that feature on and in fact let me show you what this is so I can't speak about other boards but what I have is an MSI X870 uh, Tomahawk board and in that, in the BIOS of that board, uh, you see right here, uh, it says CPU game boost is off by default. I went ahead and turned that on because I thought it'll benefit me. And then also, the option that says the third option down says um, X3D gaming mode was turned off or was disabled. Um, and so I went ahead and turned that one on as well, thinking you know that should, uh, since I have an X98 X3D card, I mean. CPU that this feature should enhance my gaming so I went ahead and turned that feature on and so and then there's one other option I had to turn on also which I read in the comments in Reddit that uh, will be helpful for me to turn on which is the PCI E1 Gen switch which was set to auto I had to set that to Gen 4 I'm not sure if that any, did anything helpful but that was suggested to me to turn on, so I went ahead and turned it on. And and I rebooted the machine. And I played a couple of games. And initially everything was fine. I didn't notice any I mean I noticed some slight stutters here and there, a little slight, but it wasn't too bad. I thought, okay, you know, I'm making progress. Maybe, you know, I'll start it again and, and you know see if it'll you know keep doing that. But as time went on, I noticed that it got worse. And so I was thinking, okay, what happened? What did I do? It definitely can't be those 3D options. You know, those can't be because that specifically says X3D. So I kept looking online, kept troubleshooting. Um, long story short, um, nothing I did worked um, until I had to revert back to default settings like I did the first time. And this time, that's when I noticed that once I did the restore back to optimal settings, it unticked those two options, you know, the 3DXD and it unticked the CPU boost as well. So this time I left them off. I didn't turn them back on. And, you know, I put some messages on Reddit that, hey, are you supposed to do this? Is this supposed to be a feature you're supposed to have on? And some people responded that, no, you're supposed to keep it off, that it's actually detrimental to the, you know, your performance. And so anyway, I left it off. And so I tested a few games now. 
Um, in fact, I tested all the games over time. I tested all the games I had that I had problems, with, especially um, NBA 2K25. I had lots of problems with that game for some reason, which I didn't have on my Intel. You know, on the Ryzen processor, it was just, uh, it was not so much that it was um, stuttering, but it was lagging. You know, it was like, it was like, um, it felt like I was playing at like 10 frames a second, even though I was playing it, you know, it said I was playing at the 98 or something, 110, you know, but it was just lagging really bad. And so anyway, so I tried that game out, which I'm going to show here as well. And um, everything from the point I unchecked those two options in the BIOS, everything just works. No more problems. I've tried it extensively, you know, but for the last day and a half now, uh, I've tried some VR games as well. Um, and everything is now working fine. So I want to say to people out there, if you do have an MSI board, I don't know if this applies to the Asus and Gigabytes and all the other boards out there, but for what I know, with the MSI Tomahawk boards, the 870s, do not turn on those two features. Do not. Leave them off. I know it sounds counterintuitive because it says X3D on them, don't turn those features on. Leave them off. And I think you should be good. Um, so, anyway, what I've learned in all this saga, my experience with this, would I do it again? Knowing what I know now, would I buy this Ryzen processor again, going from the 14700 to this processor? And I would want to say... Um, I probably would still do it because now don't get me wrong the 14700 processor from Intel was a pretty good processor it was pretty good uh, in fact it does some things better than this Ryzen processor for example uh, when you're you know for example me doing this video I'm doing right now um, you know for you to encode your videos it encodes a lot faster uh, when you're doing work so it's not that's not a gaming thing so i get that but also when you're loading your caches or when you're when you're building your shaders like say for example you're trying to play a new game and, or you installed a new driver on your, on your on your computer a new graphics driver and it's uh you're, you're getting ready to play a game that it needs to build its cache or build the shaders well that process that that process takes um processing power and because the Intel processor has a lot more cycles, it has 20 cycles versus uh, eight on this Ryzen processor, I'm assuming that's why, but I've noticed that when I'm building my shaders on the Intel processor, it takes uh, a shorter time to build the cache or create the shaders versus the Ryzen processor. Um, and you know, there are a few other things, a few other games where um, you might say, you know, on a lower um, resolution, uh, the Intel processor is very, very close to the Ryzen. So, is it worth spending all that money to get you know a minute difference in performance uh, if you're not going 4K and above? If you're just doing you know 1440p, I'll probably say no. It's not worth it. But if you have the money to spend. And you want the absolute best for specifically gaming, not doing any type of uh, workload, like you know, working on encoding files or things of that sort, work stuff. And you know, this processor would definitely be the better bet to get compared to the Intel. That's my experience, at least. That's that's how I feel. You know, now that I've had both processors. I would say this processor is definitely better for gaming for sure. Um, but you know, if you don't have a whole lot of money to spend, I would say stick with the 14700 or any high-end Intel processor you have. It's not worth getting this processor just for this. You know, the minimum speed you'll get um, on some on some games. All right, guys, that's my take on it.
um, please leave your comments and questions below um, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.